Bedrock is better than Java Edition. Take a look at this. You see this rabbit sanctuary that we've been doing in my Twitch stream lately, uh, where all the viewers get to name these beautiful little rabbits? This is pretty sweet, right? It was built by Tanya. It's got these little rabbit faces. But check this out in absolutely amazing ray tracing. Boom! Now it's getting even better. And honestly, wait until it's nighttime when you get to see these lanterns shine, dude. And look at all these beautiful rabbits, too. But look at the ray traced shadows that are going on in the ground actually passing through these transparent leaves that are also being drawn on the back side which is something a lot of people don't know but in java edition the leaves on the back are not rendered but these totally are in complete 3d as well as having glossy materials such as these trap doors that you can see are specular in the sun just absolutely beautiful it adds so much detail look at the glint on these lanterns and i mean it's pretty hard to deny like Java tries to do its best with texture packs, but it doesn't come close to real-time ray-traced lights. Of course, you gotta have a NVIDIA card so that you can do that, but I mean, it's absolutely spectacular. Take a look at this. Ow. Right through here is my recent base, and look at this in ray tracing. Absolutely beautiful. I've been experimenting with blue lights here at the top, and I mean, it's just gorgeous. I mean, these glow berries are on another level, dude. It's insane. And if you think that's cool, not to mention these blue lights coming down on the ground, which, check it out without, okay? Nothing. I mean, yeah, you got a blue thing in the ceiling. Neat, right? And you got glow berries. Neat. It looks green. But look at this. Transformation. Absolutely gorgeous. Are you kidding me? It's breathtaking, dude. It looks like we're doing the freaking disco in here. It gives it that cool vibe, like that feeling that I'm going for. I'm going to be adding some water features soon on some upcoming streams and making this feel like a nice, beautiful, homey cave interior inside of this mesa that I've dug out this entire thing, by the way. But even redstone does it too. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. The red puts off light. You can see it up there. Like, when you have an area with redstone or with lava that makes it all orange. Dude, it's incredible. Are you kidding me? Watch when this farm runs. The way that glass interacts with its surroundings is absolutely incredible too. And look, even in my hand, glass, look at that down in the bottom right, is interacting with what I'm looking at. It's refracting in real time through the item held in my hand. It's absolutely incredible. And you can watch this work through the glass, but it bends and refracts like actual glass because it's like real light properties, dude. It's incredible. Absolutely blows my mind, dude. Java Edition doesn't even come close to this. Look at my super smelter. Boom. You should see it in action when it all lights up. It's incredible. This little lamp gives off all this light. And it's got all this redstone going on in the back. And these lanterns are actually directional, which gives you opportunities... Not even to mention the fact that this sunlight moves throughout the day, so my base actually feels alive as all of this light just slowly walks its way across the floor, and it changes throughout the day. So during this time of the day is my favorite. It spotlights my nether portal build over here in the corner, and I've put in directional lights up top, like these, that spray light up into the atmosphere cast some depth into these to put shadows in here like with ray tracing lighting design is an actual thing and it's crazy it looks so good lighting up the top up there having the lanterns on it when this place turns to nighttime dude it's amazing it's not it's on survival right now obviously this is on our realm for guild rock so it's not updatable i can't just set the time but hopefully nobody will sleep and you'll get to see it look when i walk to the edge of this cave look at this freaking view first of all your eyes have to adjust which is amazing and then look at this look at the water it looks like actual paradise like i want to go swimming in it right now look at that beautiful freaking blue and the coolest part is i'm actually working on developing this texture pack myself right now so i've made a couple tweaks and i'm <laughs> planning on making some more tweaks including some to terracotta because i can adjust the height maps on these blocks to make it just a little bit more interesting uh, so that I can make this base even more amazing. But dude, it's incredible. The best thing I've done is light this base up. Like, open it up to nature. Because the ray-traced lights are just flabbergasting. 
just beyond belief. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> and these all, I'm working on this too, just opening it up, letting it feel more airy and more lit because the light that comes through lights this whole area. Dude, it's, oh, it blows my mind. So the next time somebody asks you, is Bedrock better or is Java better? You know what to say, dude. You know what to say. Look at these reflections. Look, I can see, oh, wow. Just wow. Look at the difference between a clear piece of glass and a black piece of glass. It's actually dark and it reflects all the lights behind me. You see that? I mean, I need to put more reflective surfaces in here. Speaking of which, look at how specular this glazed terracotta is. It's kind of like what you actually expect. And these polished blocks are also shiny too. Although I'm going to tweak this and make these a little bit shinier. I think the polished deep slate should be a bit shinier than that. So I'm going to adjust it. But that's something that I can adjust easily on this, on this edition of Minecraft in Bedrock. It's oh, so good. As you can tell, I am a huge, huge freaking fan. Look at it as it's moving. Just all the light propagating through there in real time. The craziest thing is too, like if somebody walks past you, you can see the shadows in real time. Like it feels like a real world. It's so incredibly immersive. It blows my mind. I just, I don't even know what else to say. So yeah, I mean, there's so many amazing areas. Oh, I know another good one to show you. You should check this out too. So I'm gonna fly through here over to this river spot or over to this water spot. You should see what it's like to be underwater. This is so amazing. I mean, look at this color, first of all. Just incredible. But I got this little swimming hole right here that I like to go down in. And uh, look at it underwater. Oh, look at this. Isn't this amazing? The actual, like, those little vines are actually glowing. Oh, the fog and everything. And look through the water refracting the light from a gemstone. I mean, holy moly. Look at these graphics, dude. I had somebody the other day tell me, Minecraft is a game for kids, it's so dumb. Uh, it's because, and I was like, why? Of course they don't have a good argument. Cause I mean, look at that amazing crystal. Ah! And they're like, it's cause of the graphics are so stupid. And I'm like, have you ever actually seen the graphics, dude? Have you ever actually played Minecraft? Like you try and make something in a 16 by 16 grid that looks that good. Try, go ahead. Yeah, I've been starting to make texture packs and it's really freaking hard. Look at this natural lush cave. I mean, huh, I was so happy when I found this in my base, dude. It's absolutely amazing. Like, huh, of course I've already lit it up so the glow berries are less impactful, but these natural spaces are just so amazing. Oh, dude, freaking blows my mind. Look at this little pond over here. Blows my mind. There's a little glow squid too. Hey, little glow squid and all these fish floating around. Look at the magma blocks. Look at them. Oh. oh, oh man. Okay, they still hurt like you expect, but look at how they glow underwater, dude. <sighs> Blows my mind. I wish the glow squid would glow. Not sure what's up with that. I'll have to look into that. But look at the glow berries through the water. Like you can't even touch that. That's real ray traced lights. That is next generation, dude. That is so freaking beautiful. Oh man. So yeah, this is probably my number one reason that I say Bedrock Edition is better than Java is purely because of ray traced lights. I mean, <laughs> look at it. It's gorgeous. This game feels like a completely different world. I mean, <laughs> Oh, I'm getting chills just walking through here. It's so beautiful. I could just walk around Minecraft all day. Like, that's how much I love this. So, yeah, the next time anybody asks me, is Minecraft better if you play on Bedrock or Java? It's freaking Bedrock, dude. Okay, but like, how do I get out of here? I was having such a good time showing off how amazing this is that I got completely lost. Oh, man. So, I mean, I guess that... That is in common between the two editions. You, you can get lost just as easily in Bedrock, if not more, because you're just kind of looking at the scenery instead of like paying attention to, to where you're going, what you're doing. But look at this! This absolute beauty! <laughs> the array of astounding lights in this environment is just mind-boggling, dude.
Okay, I also need to eat because I I've been filming in a creative world today, but now I'm into my survival world, and I'm like, gotta pay attention to these things. Oh, I hear a slime. Look at the slimes! Look at how they bend and refract light as they freaking murder you. They are the coolest looking murderous things ever. Oh, that was sad. But cool looking. Okay, I don't actually know how I'm going to get out of here. This is uh, it's becoming a serious issue at this point. So these slimes are uh, pretty serious. Oh, I think that's the gemstone over there. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me just murder a couple of these beautiful light refracting slimes really quick. And then we'll be on our way. Dude, maybe I could make a slime farm down here. That would be amazing. I might have to do that. You guys are going to have to check me out on Twitch to see if that actually happens, dude. But nonetheless... <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope I get some slime balls too. Yes, I need those. I think this is the way out. But look at that. You can't tell me that's freaking incredible. You can't tell me it's not incredible. Like when you look at that, when you look at this, when you look at that, you know this is amazing, dude. Oh, wow. Absolutely astounding. Is it nighttime? <gasps> it's nighttime. Nobody slept on the server. Yo, let's go back and check this out. There's some fire glowing at night. Beautiful. Look at it at nighttime. Oh, it's even cooler. See, now there's no blue light on the ground because the sunlight isn't shining through it anymore. So there's a little bit cast if I take this out. A little bit of blue because the moonlight is so much weaker. But it's still tinted coming through that glass. Isn't that incredible? I mean, the attention to detail is just magnificent, dude. And now you can see all of these glowing. So I've lit all that up top to add like an extra dimension of light. And it feels so good. It makes these vines like really pop, like the depth that they have. And I'm working on coming up with even better designs for those so that they look cooler and cooler. Like the nether portals in here are all lit up. I got some lights in the ceiling casting light down onto the ground to give it that effect as well. These lanterns are amazing. The glow berries are amazing. And then like... Look how the torch, you know, the light doesn't shine on the other side of these boxes. It looks so realistic. It's ridiculous. Like, ah, uh, it's hard to even explain. Watch like that uh, sea lantern is lighting all of this area up. But if I block it off, bam, now it's not. Now it's directional. It's going straight down. Which is like one of the rules of lighting design, right, is that it shouldn't light above itself. So now you have this light that's focused downwards. And it just, it looks so good. It looks so, so incredibly good. I got to come up with a lighting design for this. Because, like, you can't necessarily do angled point lights. I mean, I kind of can. Maybe I should mess around with that. Maybe I can do that. Nonetheless, Bedrock is way better than Java. Thanks for watching.